to my next face awards entry first i'm gonna use a hydrating primer because my skin is gonna hate me a lot after this and i'm gonna be nice to it to start off i'm mixing my regular foundation with some pink and blue grease paint to get a nice lilac shade I mixed a few times to get the color I liked and then I applied it all over my face. It'd be a good idea to make a larger batch so that like you have extra to put on your body and you don't have to mix again later and be like, is it the same color? Is it not? I don't know, but that's what I did. And but uh, thankfully everything's kind of the same color I assume, I hope. And also paint your ear because painting your ear is fun. If you never painted your ear, you're missing out. Now, I used that same mixture and I just added a bit more blue and created a contour shade and I added a bit more white to create a highlight shade and then I do, you know, the Instagram baddie thing where you draw all these lines on your face and it's all the contoury business and yeah. Then you blend, blend, blend with a blendy sponge. It's not very complicated, it's just purple. Now I'm taking some translucent powder that likes to make smoke and I'm applying that all over my face especially focusing on the areas where I applied the highlight shade because this translucent powder has quite a bit of flashback which works for me in this instant because I want a really really stark white highlight. But yeah, I'm dusting it all over my face and packing it on the highlight spots. Now I'm using a dark purple eyeshadow that's kind of violet toned and I'm using that as a contour color. I'm blending this all over my face and under the cheekbones I'm doing this kind of like almost skeletal shape just so I look a bit like, you know like, interesting, yeah. And I'm also using a small brush to get that nose snatched. Now I'm using a shimmery purpley color just to be like, I don't know, it's kind of like a bronzer just because I felt like, you know like how when you put on regular makeup, you put on like blush and bronzer and they're all like different colors to make it look like skin. I'm doing the exact same thing but in purpley tones and I'm also using white to make a really stark highlight. I did my brows off camera but now I'm just using a lighter mixture, mixture of my foundation mix and carving out my brows. Much like you would with, you know, a regular, like, full face beat. Now I'm priming my eyes, and something I do at this point is I use my finger to kind of blend in where that foundation line ends. So it's, you know, like when you put on the eyeshadow, you don't have to worry about blending that into the skin. It's already kind of blended for you. I'm using this pinky purple eyeshadow to blend into the crease. I'm doing it like super haphazardly because it doesn't really matter. And then I'm using a darker purple, the same one that I used like on my face and I'm just darkening it up. I'm also doing it on the lower lash line and it's kind of in like that winged shape, you know? Also applying it on the inner corner because this is a halo eye and that's what you do. You put it in the corners, like the both corner, and then you blend in the middle, the crease thingy. And then I'm using blue also because we 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 like that tonal variety in this place. So yeah, put blue and then blend more purple on top. Now I use this NYX white eyeshadow base and I'm gonna cut the crease. I'm doing it in like a kind of V shape and I'm also like bringing the crease up higher than I usually would just so that it looks a lot rounder and nicer and more dramatic. When I get less product on my brush, I'm working on the edges and slowly blending that into the purple. But also I'm gonna use the same brush that has that little residue of the purple from before and applying that to the edges of the white just to blend everything in. On top of the white eyeshadow base, I'm just putting on a really, really nice and shiny white pigment and then using the NYX glitter base, I'm putting that on the edges of the white bit and then I'm putting on a nice 
purple iridescent glitter. I'm also going to apply the same white eyeshadow to my brow bone as a highlight. Off camera, I also applied a lot more translucent powder with my beauty blender onto the tops of my cheekbones. And now I'm just dusting all of that off. And then now I'm using this really dense brush to pack on even more white eyeshadow on my cheekbones because I want that shit to pop. We want that poppin' highlight. I'm also applying it to the bridge of my nose. Now I'm using this NYX Duochrome Highlight in Lilac Steel. It broke sadly, but I'm using that to kind of draw that bridge in between the white highlight and the rest of my face. Now I'm using the same purpley pink eyeshadow that I started off with, and I'm using that to draw in some frecklies on my face. Because everyone loves an alien with freckles. And then I'm gonna do my lash thingies off camera. I just put on a really nice and dramatic pair of lashes. And then for my bottom lash line, I cut up a really thick set of lashes. And I place that under my eye. Now you can't see what I'm doing right now, but I'm doing my lips. And I always do this. I always block my lips because I'm concentrating so hard that I block my lips on camera. But yeah, I'm applying a purple lipstick. Very monotone here. Also applying that highlight shade that I use on my face, just on the on the little Cupid's bow for highlight. I gelled my hair like crazy, mixed in some glitter, applied that all over the place, and yeah, that's how I do the space alien hair. That's the look. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching my NYX Face Awards entry. If you want to be an alien space baddie, just rewind and follow the exact steps. I'm sure it'll only take you 8 minutes like how long this video is. See you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.